Hi everyone, you know I'm always saying it's not what a thing is for, it's what can it do. And today we're going to discuss these three superglottic airways that are all for getting an airway. How they do it is completely different. We're going to talk about that right now. Hi everyone, today we're talking about the superglottic airway and we're going to kind of compare and contrast uh, three popular superglottic airways. The first is of course the King Airway. Uh, then we have the LMA, which has been around forever. And then we have the IGEL, the latest to appear. Starting with the King Airway. This is designed specifically to intubate the esophagus. Yes, that's right. We are putting the tube into the esophagus. We are intubating the esophagus. And then we're going to fill up these two cuffs here with a large syringe. So this is air powered. You need a syringe to work this guy. It fills the distal cup and, uh, or the distal cuff, closes off the esophagus. Uh, this uh, big balloon here occludes the oral airway and uh, because the esophagus is blocked and the way out is blocked in the oral airway, the air comes down through these fenestrations and right into the trachea. I've seen patients come into the ER being very well oxygenated, very well ventilated. Moving forward from that, things I'm looking for in the field. Can this help me in my next step of airway management? Because from here, if this doesn't work, I need to intubate the patient. And there's no way that this device is going to help me. It's going to get in my way, so it has to come out. So it needs air to work, syringe, and uh, it's not going to help me move forward. Next, the LMA, tried and true. I've only seen these fail in the ER, okay? Uh, these are really great in the operating room for quick procedures. We don't have to intubate the patient. We're going to be in and out ideal. And these are used routinely in the uh, operating room just for that purpose. So the LMA, again, it's a blind insertion. Uh, it's a superglottic airway. It's designed to fit over the glottic opening. However, once inserted, again, we're going to need a syringe. We have to fill this cuff up and uh, make sure we have a good seal. Um, can this help me move forward in my airway management? No, there's nothing coming down. It's blocked down here. So no, no. And also additionally, during the insertion, if you look at the design, it can get a little twisty turny in there. Okay, 